Hi guys, Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artist and Educator here and today I will be showing you how to do my nails with some glitter encapsulation quick rebounds uh, but also I would like to present you an amazing e-file as well. I'm really surprised uh, how it's working and uh, how quiet and efficient it is but just have a look in this video. If you're new in here hit the subscribe button as there is lots of tutorials in here and if you're existing subscriber thank you so much guys for being with me for such a long time. Let's start! <laughs> We are going to quickly um, infill, rebalance those nails with some glitter just so it's kind of match this uh, hand and we kind of go into the spring summer image. But also I will want to show you the e-file which is absolutely awesome. I'm so impressed how quiet it is and uh, you guys know that I love my K38 and I will compare it again to this one because uh, this have been like my best friend for the last probably six years um, and I never had any issues with it but I want to let you hear this one because it's amazing uh, so the speed is uh, 40, uh, 40 thousands which is awesome compared to the other one which is 35 thousands and uh, I really love it the fact like it comes uh, in silver color but you can choose a uh, different colors as well uh, let me show you that I just grab it out of box. So I wouldn't be probably using the holder like I like it, it this way. So let's get rid of the holder. That's just a charger. Get rid of the charger <laughs> and the handpiece. So it's quite nice and small which I like. You don't want to have a too heavy uh, device because obviously um, you are going to work with it quite a lot and same you don't want any vibration on it and I'm actually impressed but I want you to listen to it so let me grab some beat because that's the beat we will be also using okay so there is an, there we are. So you've got the speed in here and we are going forward and listen to it. So that's a maximum speed. It's absolutely amazing. And then I also let you listen to this one. Uh, because there is a big difference, so I've got the maximum speed on now. There we are. So that's a, that's a full power on my K38, and it feels like and this is a tractor or something like. It's so noisy. Where normally I felt like this is so nice and quiet, and and there is no vibration. Uh, so I'm pretty impressed. Uh, like how quiet this one is. Uh, you can listen to it again. So that's a full power. And you can hardly hear it. Uh, so I'm really uh, curious how this is going to um, behave during the working uh, process as well of doing a rebalance on those nails. Uh, but that sounds just fantastic and awesome. And I think it will be great also for a video tutorials as well and if it passes all my tests I will be using it instead of the K38. Uh, so uh, what I'm doing, I'm clipping off the crystals, obviously the snake lose the eye when I was doing some gardening. <laughs> so just clip the old crystals and then we can file those nails and get them ready for the rebalance. They're very old nails like um, normally I would probably ideally I should cut them off and just start fresh set because uh, they are not nice anymore to be honest. So I'm just clipping off the crystals. If I can catch them and the last one. You can see it like how grown my natural nails are underneath, especially the index fingers, they always grow the fastest like because uh, they've got the high hyponychium. But 
let me grab some wipe and let's see how this e-file behaves uh, to be honest i never test like I, I didn't try it today yet so i'm kind of excited myself because i'm pretty happy like how quiet it is so let me put it on i will go just halfway so you cannot really even hear it okay let's go faster wow okay it is awesome and there is no vibration at all like at all wow okay it behaves really nice and it doesn't stop really nice and fast job i think as much because it, it can go faster it's so much quicker to remove the old product i mean look at this mess i think i need to invest into the dust collector in the house as well for the recording but that's most of the product off so i'm just going to quickly clean it and i'm i'm so happy like how it sounds like absolutely amazing i'm actually quite curious now to compare it with this one i'm just quickly going to swap the beat No, can you, the the noise is so different. Oh my goodness, unbelievable! I think the the other e file is going to my be my new favorite, and I'm definitely going to use it. Uh, so yeah, bye bye K38. Uh, you have been so good with me for so many years, uh, but this is such a huge difference, like. And the quality of the filing, the speech, the the how quiet it is, like no vibration at all, nothing. So I'm I'm definitely going to swap for uh, this file, like hundred percent. Okay, but when we're doing the rebalance, sorry, I'm just excited, guys. Like really, I am excited because uh, it's a fantastic stuff. So basically, when you remove the most of the product, because we are going to go for the Glitter encapsulation. I'm just going to file a little bit more. Just so I've got less hand filing. And the safety bit is awesome because you can like uh, touch the skin. Uh, so I'm always going like nice and close to the cuticle. But let's thin out the free edge. Remove the product from the side, so free edge has to be really nice and thin because we are going to put a beautiful glitter in there. And it's a brushless uh, e-file, which is awesome because I think that's uh, a big trouble uh, that you have to kind of replace the brushes sometimes in the uh, e-file, so this is another advantage of it but okay that's that's the messy part done so i'm just going to quickly clean it and swap to the hand filing so remove this mess and then we are going to do a little bit of the hand filing so you can see it like they already look pretty okay um, but we need to shorten the free edge so just shortening the free edge and then file it into a coffin shape Okay, nice and straight, nice and straight. Same on this one, shorten it a little bit and file the coffin shape. And the next one. So doing a rebalance is really quick. 
and pretty easy job if there is no lifting and with the fiber gel and a good uh, nail prep uh, you can guys see there is no lifting on those nails well we need to shorten them and then just file a little bit from the top Great. So messy. Okay, the next step is to push back my cuticles. Because we need to prep the natural nail as well. So I'm just pushing the cuticles. Gosh, there is such a big mess, like they, they weren't done for quite a long time, so big mess in there. Okay, push them back and then do a bit of the cuticle work. So I'm going one side, but you can see it, I'm only removing the cuticles from the natural nail plate. Okay, so I'm only cleaning my nail plate. I'm not touching the nail folds yet. Then put it to the reverse. And do the other side. Okay, all the cuticles from the nail plate. After I have cleaned that, I can do a little bit work on my nail fold, but just a little bit. We don't want to overdo it because we are going to still uh, do much more filing. So the main thing is we cannot have any cuticle on the nail plate. Okay. So no cuticle on the nail plate and that's what always your teachers mean if they say so remove the cuticle. So we are removing the cuticles from the nail plate. Remove the dust. And now there is no cuticle on the nail plate so we can um, scratch the surface of the nail plate and blend the place where the gel starts. So I'm just giving a couple scratches to my natural nail plate and I'm blending the old product with the nail as well. I can still thin out the end a little bit because uh, we are going to go for this glitter and I really don't want to overfile the glitter later on. Same on this one. Of course, you could do this part with the e-file as well, but I have no fun, so it is a bit messy. Okay, scratch the natural nail. Same on this one. Blend that out. And the last new. I was actually fed up of these colors and the black and white. They were so sad uh, for this time of the year, the other news. So I'm really glad it got a time to change it. Great. So clean them and then we are going to apply the gel. And also I've got a new gel. I'm not going to use it this time. Just uh, so I'm using a blue scrap now to dehydrate the nail plate. I completely gosh, this nail goes so much down. 
Okay, so dehydrate them well. And then extra nail prep. This is like a um, dehydrator as well, so I just like to dehydrate them twice. Universal Airbone. This is going to be a super quick set as well. I think I talk more than I do in the work. So Universal Airbone only on top of the natural nail. And normally I'm using the light rules and that's what I have used on those uh, nails as well. But um, some of you have said that I'm so horrible person because I don't stock the other stuff which people like. And you're absolutely right. 100% I'm horrible like I'm so egoistic because I'm only stocking the products which I use and I'm actually got it now because um, I got a new color which is a dark nude and fiber gel and to be honest guys I don't understand why I didn't stock it before so the light rose is awesome um, for like kind of natural looking nails but then sometimes we want some stronger cover gel and this one is a much uh, stronger coverage like an, uh, you can see it as, as more pigmented uh, than the light rose let me show you both of them so I'm really curious and I think it will look fantastic for um, French like a clean pink and white set uh, or just even a nude with some uh, chrome pigment over it like the one which you can see through so I've got lots of ideas for this gel as well and yeah we will be stocking it uh, uh, on the website too same there is a white one as well like a milky white uh, so just so I stop being egoistic and I will also get this stuff uh, which is um, useful for other people as well. Now for glitter encapsulation and because this is a rebalance we are going to go straight away for a glitter. I have prepared those magic glitters because they change the color depending on the light like change the color I mean maybe not to change the color they reflect diff different colors so here is a pink and blue and um, there is a tutorial on this set as well but let me quickly show you what is our next step. So I'm just going to open them all up. They come as a set of six colors. Oh my goodness, I'm all over the place today, <laughs> like showing you the new e-file, showing you glitters and new, new gel. But yeah, we have been kind of pretty busy with grabbing the stock which we didn't stock. <laughs> okay, so for the glitter, I'm just going to apply. Let me let's go like this. Okay, we are going to apply nice and uh, thin layer, so nice and thin layer, like really thin layer. Again, another scoop, nice and thin layer. So when I will be working on a client, this is exactly the same way I would do it. Give them a nice and thin layer. And then the next one. Very close to the cuticle and look how I'm pressing with my brush I'm, I'm really strongly pressing then another very small scoop of the product which goes in here where the growth is do not apply it too close to the cuticle because we need to have a time to apply the glitter so do not apply it too close to the cuticle and do not apply it, it too close to the sides only kind of in the middle and then press it hard to remove the excess Okay, another scoop just just to fill up this gap. And look, I'm not losing the time to perfect it because by the time I slap the glitter on it, this will all self level. So I would do it normally on all five nails because it's such a thin layer that I don't have to worry about it and this is going to run. And now we are going to do the ombre. So we are going to go for yellow. Just so, to be honest, I'm curious like how uh, different colors looks as well. That's why I wanted to do it in all colors. Then we're going for an orange. So the first one is an orange. Then we're going for an orange and the free edge. And those beautiful coral. That 
that's a nice combination. And then again, the coral goes for a free edge. And then the pink. It's so quick to like do those kind of uh, glitter ombres and they look really not as pretty, I would say, on the pictures because it's hard to catch the glitter on the picture, but it, they look so amazing in real life, like absolutely unbelievable. And my brush is completely dry, like, uh, because when I'm touching, uh, I'm kind of picking up a little bit of the gel with it as well. So don't have too much gel. If you've got too much gel on your dry brush, just take a wipe and clean it, because uh, otherwise the glitter is going to uh, stick too much to the brush rather than to the nail. Okay, so that's a wee tip for you guys. and then the blue so on the fan will be blue and then the green so we have used all the six uh, full set of the six glitters uh, just so you know now side view I really don't like my index finger clean the brush and you could use either a sponge like to dab it in with the sponge or you could do it with the brush like kind of making sure the glitter is flattened okay so there is no sticking out bits and pieces and you can always see it only on the side view then once you're happy with this you can cook them in the lamp okay that's me happy now that's that's better compared to those dark mood needles look at the sparkle oh it looks pretty in the camera sorry cameraman i'm going to get out of focus wow it looks really pretty awesome anyway stop this excitement and give them a cure uh, and the next step is to just apply clear gel over it and basically shape it, file it, and that could be the finished set, so it doesn't take long at all. Uh, that's why I like uh, the glitter encapsulation, especially when it's so pretty like uh, this one. So let's close them when I'm cooking, and then we can quickly put the clear gel, shape them. I will show you maybe on one or two needles and then we'll do some design. I think it will be nice to put maybe some flower, free-handed some flower on top of it. And uh, yeah, and then this set will be finished. So clear gel, no, that's a la that's a sheer rose. That's the clear one. But I cannot wait when, I definitely, uh, this needles are not going to stay with me a long time because um, that's my natural nails halfway through. So uh, next time I'm going to use those dark nude uh, fiber gel because I'm really curious how this is going to look on the nails. It reminds me of some um, Neil Perfect uh, cover gel, which they had it before and I really loved it. So uh, I'm really excited to use it. Now I've got a uh, wipe, which I'm going to remove the, any excess of the glitter. But what I'm doing is I'm just applying a very thin layer of the gel kind of pressing any loose glitter because with the glitter encapsulation at this stage we can still have some uh, loose places like where the glitter didn't stick to the gel because I don't like to use too much of it okay so just a nice and thin layer like kind of brushing away any loose pieces and I'm always having two pots one for glitters one for um, clear encapsulations or each time before you put your brush into the pot just clean it okay and then we are going to pick up a scoop of the product because we need to build up our apex again and then side view and kind of one side other side one side other side more to the middle because by the time we put it to the lamp the gel might run. Gosh, this should get cut, this nail. The only way to fix it is I could drill it from underneath and then reshape it, but it's so time consuming that it's sometimes better just to cut it and give it a fresh one. And it's always my index finger which does that. Okay, that's plenty. Another scoop.
and another scoop for a pinky, very tiny scoop. And I love the fact that the gel enlarged the particles of the glitter as well, giving them even more interesting look. This one is huge. Remove that excess. Cool, and then once you're happy with it, give it a cure. Okay, a couple seconds longer and then we can shape them and move on into the design. So just clean the inhibition layer. And then shape them. So one side. And look how the shaping is changing the look of the needle, like when we go nice and straight on the side. Same this one. Then just file it a bit from the top, blend everything around the cuticle area. Like you don't want any catchy places there. Then the next one. When we file the glitter, it becomes matte, and then once we apply the top coat, it is a beautiful one again. I'm just filling out the free edge. I don't like it when it's too thick. Same on the sides. Because the shape was already there, like we don't have to file too much, especially the needles, like except this one, this one I had to file it more. Um, but the ring finger and the middle finger, pinky, they have been quite okay. So we're really just smoothing out the entire needle. and blending everything around the cuticle area. And you kind of know where you almost re reach the glitter. Uh, so that's the time when you kind of stop filing because you don't want to overfile the glitter. And I'm almost there on those new. That's enough, the rest is with the buffer. Okay, same on this one. Get those free edge nice and thin.
blend the cuticle area. If there is no places to catch, the extensions are never going to lift. Okay, clean it. That's a cute set. <laughs> we could paint some sky over it <laughs> and then take a buffer just to smooth it out, especially like around the cuticle area. So we can quickly just file it around the cuticle area at this angle like. All of them and then just smooth them out. So they're nice and smooth. Okay, and they already look better. Uh, just before I start painting the design, I'm having like a final look on them. So I can see I could improve the shape a little bit in here. Maybe in there. Yeah, and that's pretty nice and decent. Okay, so clean this mess and now we are going to bring some water to paint like a quick flower to finish this design. Okay, so the clean, we just need to do the cuticle work, uh, new folds, and uh, they're not too bad, but I'm just going to, after all the filing, I'm just going to touch them up again. And I always do it before applying the top coat or a gel polish, uh, just because during the shaping we quite often touch this area as well. And it might happen that you don't even have to do any, uh, any more work on this uh, part. They actually looked really bad on the beginning, now they are pretty good. So what I'm doing is I'm just really touching it up. I don't have to cut anything. Just a little file. Again, if you're not trying how to use the e-file, do not do it like because you can really hurt yourself. And that's plenty because once we apply the cuticle oil, nothing is going to be visible. Okay, let's do decorate those nails. And also doing like a check how the glitter is looking. We're giving them white. Yeah, it's cool. So the design I think I will paint on those two nails. Uh, so it's kind of similar um, to the set, so I don't walk like a stranger. And I don't have mixing palette with me, so I will be just using this. A piece of paper and some acrylic paints. So I'm squeezing a drop of white and a pink and I think I'm going to stick with the pink but maybe a drop of the magenta that's a number 13. 13 is our lucky number and I think that's why I like this color. I mean not maybe not that's why but it looks cool on the nails. And we are going to use the Demaster brush, really nice and fine brush. So I'm picking up white on the one side, magenta on the other side, give it two, three movements. Yes, this will be too dark. So white and then pink, mix it just on the same place so we've got a really nice uh, combination of the color. And now let's paint just a simple flowers. So we're going to go like kind of sideways. Actually pick up more. It will be more visible once we apply the top coat over it. So I've got one, two, three, four, five petal flower. Uh, 
and then some parting on the top. And on the bottom. Do it just like a touches of the brush. I'm going to pigment my flower a little bit more. Just because it's on the glitter, it's good to go twice over it. And then we paint the same flower. Is it visible in a camera, actually? Yes. Okay, cool, because I was worried. And because of the shape of the brush, it doesn't matter what movement kind of I do, I always get... Uh, Nice petals with it. Something on the top and someone on the bottom. I don't want to cover too much of the glitter. Great. So clean my brush. Actually, I'm going to maybe pigment the middle a little bit more. So lots of water in. And just give a little bit more pigment to the bottom of the flower. Great. Now the next part is the foil design gel. And the D-liner brush. Oh, see, I find my mixing palette. <laughs> I shouldn't be using a brush for picking it up. No. Okay, now we are going to paint the design around those flowers. I think it will look super cool. Okay, we leave them here. So lots of little lips. couple dots inside. OK, 
Okay, same on this one. See it, I'm kind of shaking with my brush just to get the leaves painted quicker. Okay, and now we are going to outline the flowers, so I'm just going to shape my brush properly. Because those parts we want it really nice and thin. Okay, I have to remove the excess of the gel because if you've got too much product on your brush, the brush doesn't behave nice. So really clean it well and then only on the tip of your brush we are going to pick up a small amount of the product. To outline the flower. Okay, in this way we've got a much nicer and thinner lines. Because for this part, like if we would outline it too heavy, it, it wouldn't just look nice. So very delicate outline. Okay, same on this one. Nice and thin. <laughs> and she makes a big thick block. <laughs> Blop. <laughs> That's because I've got again too much, so remove the excess. Like for painting the smallest lines, you really should have hardly some like hardly any product on your brush. Just adding more detail. Check how they look. Okay, for a balance, I need to add something more in here. Great, and then give it a cure. So we are going to cure 60 seconds and then wrap some gold chrome pigment. I actually really love this gold. We could use the rose gold as well, but I think gold will stand out uh, even better. So just cook it in. Okay, and we can apply those gold. I am. This is the model ones. Yeah, model ones. Uh, 
um, eyeshadow chrome pigment. I give you the link uh, in the description of this video to the products I have used today. So I'm just picking up a small amount of it and it stays on absolutely fantastic with the, it goes on absolutely fantastic on top of the foil design gel. This is so pretty. It looks okay with the black as well, but I think with the gold it's just so much nicer. You could do it with silver as well or any other color you prefer. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, and now I've got some kind of summery needles. <laughs> Finally. Then just remove the excess and we can apply the top coat on those could say I said I hope you have guys enjoyed it. It's a slightly different uh, video I think uh, just like showing you everything all together and uh, but I didn't want it to just cut and bind those nails. I wanted to show you glitter encapsulations and then I can cut them because you can see I really don't like this nail. Like really we should drill it from underneath. But that looks pretty once it's top coated because the glitter is showing through from underneath. And then we've got a really nice glitter ombre here. And when I'm applying the top coat, I still perfect my shape like so. If there is any places I feel like I should maybe add it on, I would do that uh, during the top coat application. I do it the same for the clients as well, like a final touches. If you do that, then you have to freeze them like even five seconds and then uh, you can paint the next nail. This one is so beautiful. You can guys see it like it doesn't take as long time. I think like, I don't know, like it is really possible to do it like an encapsulated glitter on the client with the nail art 45 minutes on a normal size of the nails. Clean that well, check it. And then give it a cure. So after the cure I can show you the final results and I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial of doing a rebalance. Uh, if you did hit the like button or a share button I would really appreciate it and if you're new in here hit the subscribe button so there is lots of lots of tutorials uh, coming up on those channel with a great tips and useful tips. Uh, but yeah that's my set cook so you can have a we preview of it at different angles. Nice and summery like show you this way as well. So we come on. Oh now we can see the flower then the gold and the glitter then everything and one more time like this. I need to get rid of the snake skin. It just doesn't feel like uh, we should have those kind of nails at this time of the year. Oh, that's nice. And look at this glitter, like it, it does really change the color, like the orangey one looks uh, yellowish now. Uh, and then it can go orange. So I, I really like this uh, glitter because it looks different at different angles of the light. Yeah, but I'm sending you glittery hacks and bye for now.